Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for July. Being the fixed sign you are, having a degree of continuity in your life is something that you usually welcome. But as you make your way into this new month, I do think the desire to open up your world to new vistas is going to be very strong indeed. The new moon of the 4th is particularly potent because it's linking with Neptune, the planet of dreams, which is in your sector of creativity anyway. So if you find yourself checking out courses, potential higher educational ones, or doing anything to do with travel, which sees you soak up local culture, new cuisine, meet new people, all of this can really settle on your senses in a highly positive way. With Mercury and Venus also in this part of your horoscope as July begins, communications generally are going to be very important. Venus is encouraging you to be diplomatic. Mercury is asking you to think things through, be analytical and do the research. But once the Sun goes face to face with your modern ruler of Pluto between the 5th and the 11th, there is the potential for some heated animated discussions, particularly if you take a different view to someone else you're involved with. And it's possible that where you're wanting to change and evolve and grow into something new, somebody else wants to keep you the same as you were before, because that suits their agenda. When the Sun and Pluto go face to face, it can lead to very intense discussions. Mercury's involved in the mix as well. So if you encounter somebody who is rather dogmatic, it wouldn't be a surprise. But there's a clash for the whole of this month between Neptune and Saturn, which is in your sector of resources. So if you are talking about anything that can affect your long-term financial future, you must be very clear in your facts, because Neptune, although it can be wonderful in its angle with the new moon, in terms of raising your perception and also your imagination, it's not so good when it comes to dealing with life's nitty-gritty issues where a more realistic and practical approach is needed. So if you spend money that you don't have, if you're a little bit extravagant with your time and energy, then that too can be something that depletes you. Now on the 12th, Venus moves right to the top of your horoscope, followed by Mercury on the 14th. This can be particularly auspicious when it comes to your career because both are actually going to be angling up brilliantly with Saturn in week three. Your ability to forge relationships with influential people is going to be key to this. There may be people that you have to work with that you don't find easy to cooperate with. That's true of all of us. But it's also possible that the very people that can influence your future the most are the ones that you do need to keep the lines of communication open with. And if you can, that's going to give you greater options and I think greater security. The first two weeks of this month also sees Jupiter in a brilliant part of your scope linking up with a Pluto. So the expansive agenda that you're going to have can be fortunate for you if you're prepared to go with the flow be more flexible and welcome change into your life. But I think the, uh, the full moon on the 18th is particularly critical because it's going to angle back towards Mars in your sign. And that's going to give you more uh, desire to be a little bit more in the moment and perhaps a bit more risk taken and go for something you really want, even if you know it's going to upset uh, somebody else's boat but there may be part of you that wants to be a little bit more strident just to see the reaction that you will get. But if you have been in a life role that's been unfulfilling, dull or boring, this could be a month when all the options that you consider are actually to do with your career or your role in life in general. And by the time the Sun moves on the 23rd and combines itself with Saturn in the last four days of this month, you could see something start to shape up that's more solid, has more foundations, but also has potentially more responsibility. But it may be in a different arena from where you've operated before. 
So openness to communication and having the courage of your convictions is going to be very important. Dogmatism could actually be the downside of this. So if other people have different viewpoints, don't dismiss them. Perhaps it's a good time to challenge some of your own. And as the month comes to a close and Mercury moves into the friendliest part of your scope, the end of July could coincide with a meeting, getting to know a new group of people who could prove to be crucial. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.